What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Um, today's video, we're going to be discussing a, a shotgun and a bunch tight end mini scheme. Um, now, this is going to go along with some other stuff we're going to be releasing later on uh, this coming week. Um, and we're going to kind of finish it up. This is kind of our all day event to kind of uh, kind of prerequisite to what we're going to be doing in the off season. And uh, this scheme is going to serve as kind of an introduction uh, to some of the concepts we're going to discuss. And I, I think this is one of my best offenses that I've, I've made. Uh, as of yet, as far as attention to detail, uh, as far as effectiveness long term, and and things like that. So I want to I want to give it out now. Um, really quickly here, um, we're in the Minnesota playbook, and I will have a video later on that goes along with the idea um, with the audibles and why we have certain plays where we have them, etc. Uh, we're also going to have a depth chart break out uh, sometime soon. Uh, but with this package. Oh, excuse me there, uh, but with this package here, you can typically uh, just RB sub them in, and you'll be fine. But anyway, uh, without further ado, I just want to give you the empty bunch today. Um, I'm going to try to get some more videos up. We are going to get back to the four day, four video a day. Uh, I think it's three or four. Uh, it might be three, but it, I might try to shoot for four. Uh, we're going to get back to that intense schedule for the off season uh, now that school's out and we have a little bit more time to devote to the game. But uh, today's video is going to simply discuss the bunch tight end. And so I'm just going to RB sub my, my team in here because it is pretty uh, simple. And I want to talk about uh, a couple things when I do this. So this right slot receiver needs to be a speedy guy. Uh, uh, for the Bengals, you can use a Hawkins. You can use Tate. You could even use um, Pierman there. But I like uh, Hawkins the best out of all the three options. Uh, the far left, or the far right receiver needs to be your best catch and traffic guy. So for the Bengals, of course, you've got AJ Green. Um, this left slot receiver, uh, really not a whole lot of. This is just kind of your best second receiver. Uh, so for the Bengals, we got Marvin Jones there. But uh, for like the Cowboys, that would be Miles Austin, etc. Uh, tight end, just your best tight end, best catching tight end. Uh, your running back needs to be your best pass receiving running back uh, in terms of speed and catching. So. Uh, for example, the Buccaneers here, this guy uh, Burkhead is really a good catching back, but we're not going to play him because he doesn't have the speed uh, that Bernard has. So we're going to—that's kind of the trade-off. And I would say catching bef before speed, but in that in that specific case, uh, I do go Bernard. And you just want to make sure they don't drop the ball. They're going to be uh, making a lot of catches here in this offense. All right, so the base play for this uh, offense is the divide wheel is what you want to come out in every time. and uh, But it's not actually the main play we're going to be running. Uh, I just like to come out in it every single time uh, because it provides me a, a quick couple quick options here. But uh, the base play, the first play I want to go over, the foundation. We gave out the uh, bunch out the other day, so you can check that video out. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the Z-Spot. And uh, why we like this E-spot is uh, mainly because of that route to A.J. Green, but also a couple of other things we want to do with this play. So the following adjustments is what we want to do. We want to put our R1 or the running back on an in route. Okay, then we want to bring uh, Hawkins over. And we want to put him on a smart routed in route, a smart routed out route, a curl um, or you could also do this. You could put the running back on a smart routed in route and then put Hawkins on a zig. There's several things we can do with this. Uh, this as far as what I've found most successful is the smart routed in route to Hawkins. Okay? Now your first read on this every single time is that corner route on the left side. If that corner route does not get pressed, you're pass leading it down into the outside. So snap, don't get pressed, pass lead down outside. Every single time. And it's a quick read. Uh, it's a very quick developing corner route. I think it might be one of the quicker developing uh, corner routes in the game. Now let's show you what happens. Let's see if they, let's say for, for example, they maybe shade him outside. So let's see what happens to this. So they shade him outside and you see that pass lead still can kind of get in, but it's not a good look. So if you see that shade, you don't throw. Okay? Uh, and they will eventually start shading. Now, one key note as well, if you see something like this, so if your opponent does this, they base the line, automatic corner route every time. Automatic. Because they can't shade outside on a baseline play. Okay? Just wanted to 
kind of give you an option there that we can look at later. Uh, and we'll talk more about the baseline later on in the uh, scheme here. Okay, but um, here as we see, if they don't shave that corner route out, uh, it's going to be open. And that's why it's our first read. And, and another thing we can get when we kind of look at the corner route, and this goes back, this goes to a concept we're going to discuss later in the offseason, talk about uh, reading uh, reading areas of the field, not receivers. Uh, but when we look to the left, we can quickly glance up the safeties, and here we'll see that there's a two deep look. Okay, so obviously that can mean two men under cover two, seed cover two. So the key defender, the defender that we really want to read against the two-man under, especially if they shade, perhaps, shade out, is the middle linebacker. So in this example, we look left. Okay, the middle linebacker goes with the running back, and that immediately means that that running back is going to be wide open. For your progression, that running back is your second read. Okay? All right. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back, Jones. Um, everything else really uh, is kind of his own read. Um, Hawkins' route will beat man coverage. Um, but again, it's not something that's glamorous. Um, that was kind of a bad look there. I don't know what happened on that one. You know what? It might be best to put him on a curl. Huh. Let's see here. Let me check something here. Let's see. Do a little, little national live internet labbing here. Take a look at this. Curl. Nope. But he pulls him out, but I don't like... See, this is why... And then we'll get back to that in just a minute when we talk about his own read. But, um, anyway, Hawkins is in route. Um, you don't want to... It's kind of dicey. Okay, um, That's why the out route is, is good and the curl route's good as well. The in route's just more successful for me because I don't need that man read. Honestly, I just really don't feel like I need it. And if I... You know, you, you really only need in my opinion and especially especially if you're running a base play you only need one or two routes to beat man because their user because like they're gonna have to use the left and that that beats man and then they're gonna have to also middle user the middle linebacker because that route beats man so it does require a dilemma but again and I will I'll just go ahead and say it uh, if you want to beat man coverage put Hawkins on an out route or a curl. I think the curl is the most consistent and the best between the two of those options. But I don't think it's better than the in route for the zone purpose. And we'll get back to that in just a minute. And then our last read in terms of our progression reads is going to be AJ Green over the middle. Pass lead down the inside, click on, make a catch. Very simple. We've been doing this all season long. If you guys have followed MaddenTips.com, a lot of stuff on, on Z spot. A lot of stuff. Um, real quick on the spot route, if you throw it right when he curls back, it, it, it is going to be effective against man. But again, you shouldn't have to hit that route against man. And that's just that's just kind of like that's what I've been working on. I've been working more on, on zone concepts uh, and having a couple routes to be man, not every single route having to be man. Okay? So now let's switch it up. Let's go to like a cover two. Okay? So we look to our corner route and we see that the corner route is not going to beat the cover two. Okay, I just wanted to throw it just to kind of get it out there and say, okay. if they're in, And that's why we look. That's why you always read. You don't just assume that something's going to be open. You have to actually look to the area. So when we're looking to the left, we see, okay, two high safeties, and that corner route's covered. But now you see that the spot route is opened up. Now, why is it that the spot route is opened up instead of, say, maybe the in route or the, uh, the deep end or the underneath in route against cover two? It's because of the flat zones and the way the yellows play, they're going to stretch the field out and we'll just be able to take that little underneath underneath route to Jones. Now what will happen, if I, if I remembered correctly from last night uh, when I was working on this play, A.J. Green should get open here. Late. Late, late, late. Yep. See how, see how the, the deep in route by Hawkins? And that's why I like the deep in route because watch what happens. Watch, I, I'm not 100% sure on this. This is just kind of like off the cuff stuff here. But I do, I don't think that the middle linebacker will hold the same. Well, I guess, I guess he did hold the same. Uh, but I know in cover three for sure that they won't hold the same. Um, but anyway, you can do the in or the hook. It, it really is, it, it's all constraint theory anyway. So, uh, and you want to mix it up. You can mix it up with in, out. You can do, they, they, they serve the same purpose, is what I'm saying. But anyway. 
Okay, uh, so other reads against cover two here. Uh, you can actually hit this route to Bernard real quick. and uh, But again, it doesn't coincide with the rest of the play to, be, to warrant uh, me, me kind of emphasizing that progression, which is why I want to emphasize look to the left, get the read, and then make a decision and, and hit Jones underneath against the cover two plays. That's just my personal, uh, my personal, I think, best opportunity for you for success. Because it's going to force the defense to, they're going to have to do, let's, let's, let's show you what they'll have to do. Okay? So, it's stop the corner route. They're going to have to play like a cover 2C on the outside. Stop that corner route. Okay? We know that we don't have a vertical route, so they can go through and they can take Woodson, put him on the spot route. And that'll do a decent job. Now, they know they can't take away the route to the running back. So they're going to put a flat zone here. They're going to man up the back. Okay. Now they're going to rely on Roach to take away Hawkins' route. So Adams and Roach are going to take away Hawkins. So let's just let's just do bracketed yellows here, and then we'll just man up on green. Now let's 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 see what this does. So we see there it is, there it is, and you see now your in route is is kind of blanketed. But what's not blanketed in that? little adjustment tree there is of course the route to green and that's why I want to stress reading progressions and your um, not only are you reading where they're op like what shell they're in but you're also of course reading your progressions as well I don't want to make either I don't want to um, overemphasize either of those but I think they're both equally important but anyway uh, so moving on to the cover three okay so we got the cover three and uh, we're going to look to the left, and it should be covered. Okay, it's covered. Okay, the spot route's covered. Now, that's what I want to note here. Now, I took a sack on there because I want to, I want you guys to get this. This is kind of important. So, your first read, obviously, in this progression is Eifert. It's always this corner route. If they're man, throw it. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Nine times out of ten will be successful, especially, especially if you quick hike this play, meaning... You, you don't give them time to shade. Um, but anywho, if we watch this, you see that that flat route's in the... He, he's going to take away the corner. I'll just note that he is. Okay? So you move on to your second read, and you know it's cover three. Okay? So you move to your second progression. The in route. You see how that middle linebacker kind of covers that in route? It's not really a good look, and then you have the flat coming down to get a hit stick. So you don't want to throw that. Okay? So what about the spot route? Well, the middle linebacker can now jump back on it because of the, because of the cover three shell. But what the middle linebacker can't do, and this is why I recommend the in route over the curl route, is watch this back. He's going to come in behind it. And now with a pass lead up to Hawkins, we should be able to get that in there. So real quickly, uh, let's go. Let's run through that real quick. Okay, so we, we bring him in, and we should be able to squeeze in this in route to Hawkins. You see that? See how it cuts across? And and the, the key is that middle linebacker is going to get collapsed down. Now, another thing, obviously, you could do if you have enough time in the pocket is just hit A.J. Green deep. Okay? And that's just kind of a always there kind of thing. But you see that right there? That's exactly that's an exactly perfect example. What happens is, and this is why it's pocket presence, you want to look to your quick stuff and then go to your delayed. But watch. So, as, and this is somewhat of level, I don't know if it's necessarily a levels concept. I mean, it's a, it's a vertical, it is a vertical stretch of the defense. Um, but again, anyway, I don't know exactly what I would call this. Uh, I think that's called inverted levels. But anyway, um, you see how he holds on the spot route, and that's going to open up that window. Okay, and that's why the in route's important. Now, let's see. Let me show you real quick what happens uh, with the curl route. And the reason I'm, I'm kind of so emphasizing this uh, is because I want you guys to, to be able to use this play long term, and I don't want it to just be one, you know, against one defense. You can run this play uh, the majority of the game because of how effective it is and how simple it is, too. So, anyway, let's, let's take a look at the curl route. Let's take a look at what happens. So, we go through our progression left, left. We look to hit the curl. You see that there's a guy right there. Now you can pass lead it down, and you can you can play that game. But Hawkins is catching traffic. It's not good enough, in my opinion, to warrant you wanting to do that. And and, and really versus getting that man read because against man, I'm being honest, it will the the defense will play that in route better. Uh, but 
zone is is where the in route comes into play. Now also, you always have this route to green. You always have that. So just note that the defense is going to know that. The defense is going to be looking. They're going to say, okay, so we know that he – we know what he does is he goes through and he he has all these underneath reads and then he has that backbreaker out to green. So what we're going to do to take all this away, and this is the key here, because of that corner wrap, because they have to leave that deep blue for the corner because if not, you could pass it up. Let's just show, let's just show you what happens. So let's just – they're going to get crazy and they're going to man him up here and they're going to drop a yellow uh, right in here. Uh, to take away, to take away the the route to um, take away the route to Hawkins, the three yellows. Okay, so watch what happens. You're able to just pass lead up that corner route. That's why it's the first read. You're getting the shell. If there's nobody deep, and this is even for, I uh, wish I had a cover. Let's just let's just blitz these guys. So even for like a cover zero blitz, and this is just kind of wanting to illustrate this point. You see how that's there? You see how that's there? That's very important because it forces them to put that deep blue zone on that side of the field. Now, with that in mind, now we're able to use all these routes because there's nothing they can do. There really is. It really is difficult to stop this play. Um, you know what they would have to do is they would have they have to leave this deep blue. Um, or what I guess they could do is they could say, okay, we're going to press the corner route. The spot route will get covered by man coverage. We're going to have to drop a lineman on the back, drop a spy. This route's going to be covered, and so now they'll use her that route. But let's see if we can let's see if we can just beat this defense. Let's just see. And you see that back is wide open. And another thing, that, and let's just be real, is they're going to use her that route to green because they don't want to get beat deep. They're going to use her that route to green. Absolutely going to use her that route. So then what we're going to have is something like this. So they know there's no out route, so they're going to put a curl here. They're going to have this guy in the back, and and they're going to say, okay, you're not throwing to A.J. Green. Now, I'm going to illustrate this by using the cushion coverage technique. Okay? Now, watch what happens. They're going back with Green. Now, look who's wide open underneath. Bernard. You see how there's nothing that they could do to stop this route combination without making the trillion adjustments. And if they do make all those right adjustments, the scramble with Josh Johnson will be there. This is a truly a power play in the game. And it's one of the most simple plays in the game. But that quick throw of the corner out, even though we don't like corner routes necessarily all the time for beating man-to-man -man coverage, the purpose that this corner out serves is when we see that they take the safety away. So they're going to take the safety away here. Watch this. They take the safety away. Bomb. Over top. Every single time. 100% bomb every single time. They cannot take the safety away over there. Now let's take a look here, and, and now this is where your scheme comes in, because they start using press man, and press man is probably the most effective combatant to this offense. Now you're using your bunch, now you're using your bunch out, and now you're dotting them for more yards, more yards, and more yards. This is where the scheme aspect comes together. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another video on how I actually might be able to try to get one up later tonight. But uh, I do want to continue discussing this scheme because it is very effective in my opinion. And uh, we're going to be talking uh, tomorrow about the play um, Divide Wheel and why it's one of the better plays in the game as well. So be sure to stay tuned to that. Until then, uh, please leave a comment if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or problems with this video. And uh, thanks for your time. Have a great day.